beautifuls, this is Aroma here, and welcome back to Osmopia. So we are now pursuing Axel's route. I'm guessing this is how we're going to pursue his route, by going to see him first. I don't know how this game works, so. When she came to, Axel was in front of her. He was close enough that she could have reached out and touched him, had he not been restraining her hands. I, I was just trying to help. Help. His eyes cold like metal gazed down at her. I was just trying to help by putting that jacket on you. How's that helping? It's just needless meddling. He tightened his grip on her wrist. You aren't part of this family or our territory, which means as long as I claim self-defense, I can do anything to you without fear of punishment. Keep that in mind in the future. He snatched his jacket from her and stood up. I don't approve of you. In fact, I'd prefer it if you left. There's no point in taking care of you. Well, damn. Savage. Mr. Axel... Obviously, he does not know my purpose in life right now. <laughs> oh, it's evening already. Mr. Karimia said we'd have din would be having dinner soon. Maybe I'll walk around town in a little bit. She walked down the street, admiring how the setting sun died in the scene, a vibrant orange, even as she kept, on her kept one eye on where she'd come from. Eventually, the road of red brick ended in the big plaza. It was filled with people just relaxing and enjoying themselves. What a lovely signorina you are. I have del <laughs> I have some delicious bread. Interested? She turned around to see a friendly young man carrying a box. Oh no, I... Oh! Her st I guess her stomach growled? I didn't even hear it. Hello? Is it the voice volume? Is that what it is? I don't know. Alright. Your stomach started growling right on cue. I'll give you a free sample. How about it? A sample? But I'm sure Mr. Creamy and the others are preparing dinner for me. Thank you, but I'll have to pass. That's okay. Well, next time then. At least he didn't keep pushing it. He bowed and then ran off. Huh. He really startled me. I never thought someone would try to talk to me. Someone just kidnapped me. Ah. Oh. Or, or bump into me. Ow. Oh. Are you okay? Are you a pretty boy? Y yes Sorry, I didn't think there was anyone behind me. Can you stand up? The young man held out his hand. She took it and they got up together. There we go. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. That's a relief. It'd be terrible for her to girl. What's your name? Although, maybe I should introduce myself first. My name's So? What's your name? It's Michiko. Michiko, Michiko, huh? Hmm. I know the faces of most people in this town, but yours isn't familiar at all. It's only natural that you want to be familiar with me. I just recently... Recently... Is it gonna tell him the truth? I moved here recently. Oh! That was a lie, wasn't it? Huh? It's written all over your face! Huh, really? No, no, not literally, but y you really were lying, weren't you? It's bad to lie. It makes people sad when you lie to them. I'm sorry. Don't look so upset. I'm not mad at you. You must have had a reason to lie. Yes, I don't remember anything from before where I came from, because that's pretty sad. You don't remember? Yes, when I came to, I was lying in an alley and a man named Caesar was chasing me. Huh. Right now, Family Oz is taking care of me. Hmm, I see. You're... you really are strange. Am I? Yeah, I mean, you lied about it at, fir at first, because you wanted to hide it, but now you're spilling your guts to me, and I'm someone you've only just met. Um... I'll be more careful from now on? Is that strange? Well, if I say that, would I don't know how he would react. Um, I'll be careful. Yeah. I'll be careful. Careful. I don't know why my accent wants to come out all of a sudden. From now on. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. There aren't only good people in the world. Though maybe that's weird for someone you've only just met to say. But I think you're a good person, Mr. So. Really? You really, really think that about me? Yes, you've been so kind and you're looking out for me. Now we're acquaintances. Maybe it's a good thing that I ran into you. Maybe it was. Oh, look at the time. I should get going so I can get dinner ready. I should go home too. Goodbye, Mr. So. He gave her an enthusiastic nod and turned to leave Oz territory. However, he turned back around as if he just remembered something. Oh, also, could you stop calling Mr. So? Then what should I call you? Just so is fine. You don't have to be so polite either. I don't like formalities. I understand. You mean... Okay. 
<laughs> good. <laughs> good. Perfect. I set up shop here every Sunday. I'm already closed for today, but come by next week if you want. Yeah, I will. You better. It's a promise, okay? Bye then, Michiko. I'll see you later. But what if I don't want to? Because I'm trying to pursue someone else. And I'm trying to stay strong. It's so hard to stay strong in here, man. That sucks. Monday morning, the estate was busier than it had been the day before. Michiko passed by the men heading out for the day as she made her way to the kitchen for breakfast. Good morning! She sat softly to an empty room as she got herself some bread and milk. Taking a seat in the same chair she had the previous day and she started eating by herself. Yesterday was a day of peace, which means that now there might be fights between the family until next Sunday. When I met Mr. Karimia, Karimia? Yeah. and the others, I did see a bunch of people with weapons. I wonder if they actually use them. Morning. Came here on your own today, huh? Mr. Karimia. She looked up and shifted slightly to face him. It seemed he had come for breakfast as well. I assumed you would have been more shy since this mansion is full of men, but I guess not. Karimia gently touched Michiko's shoulders before going over to the sink. She plucked an orange from the basket of fruit and rinsed it before taking a plate and knife out of the cabinet. I'm sorry, I just made myself at home. Oh no, it's quite alright. I'm happy to see you're getting comfortable. He took a seat next to her, orange and plate in hand. As he cut into the fruit skin, a citrusy scent filled the room. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Axel. <laughs> Axel glanced at Michiko, but that was it. Morning, sir, sleeps a lot. I do not sleep a lot. Karimia tossed the <laughs> still unpeeled orange at Axel. As he caught it, a few errant droplets of water splashed against his cheek. Eat it. I bought it at the market this morning. I'll have it later. Axel wiped the water off his face with the back of his hand as he returned the orange to the fruit basket. Crossing his arms, he leaned against the wall. When are you heading out? When I finish eating. Is there a reason I need to wait in here? There is. Join us at the table. He passed by both Michiko and Karimia and set his hand on the back of the furthest chair away from them. A little closer. Axel took a single step over, only to pull out the second furthest seat away. No, no, the seats across from us are all open. Karimia <laughs> tapped the table in front of him. Axel let out a big sigh and sat down directly across from Karimia diagonal to Michiko. What? Why are you so on guard around the Signorina? It's only natural to be on guard after uh, around an unfamiliar person. Well, I guess that's true. That said, I don't think she's going to bite. We're living together, so we might as well relax around each other, right? Axel's gave Michiko a sideways glance that lasted less than a se single second. What am I going to do with you? I'm sorry, Michiko. He's a very guarded person by nature. Oh, it's fine. He's right. You don't know anything about me. I understand how Mr. Axel feels. Signorina... You're so much more mature about this than some people. Axel rested his elbows on the table and gazed determinedly at the wall. Mr. Karimia, um, don't let him bother you. He's always like this. More importantly, we need to discuss our plans for the day. Plans for the day? Yeah, I was thinking Axel and I should show you around Oz territory. How's that sound? What about Mr. Kyrie? What if only you showed me around? That sounds wonderful. I'm trying to go for Axel here, not anyone else. That sounds wonderful. Good, we'll show you around this town and we're so proud of. Right, Axel? Yes, sir. Mr. Axel doesn't seem very enthusiastic about this. So says thought that thought occurred to her, her eyes met Axel's. I follow my orders. Huh? If the Dawn ordered me to marry you, I would obey, understand? Well, what? <laughs> what? You would marry me if you were ordered to? What if he ordered you to marry a pig? Would you order... Would you order the pig? I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you marry the piggy? That's weird. Michigo gave a vague response, unable to discern Axel's intent. Karimia leaned against the back of his chair and smiled as he watched her exchange. Why do you have to use such a roundabout expression to say, don't worry about me? That was his way of saying, don't worry about me? That was horrible. The air was covered in red brick or our turn. The main entrance in front of the mansion is obviously ours, but the rest of this area is too. All of this? And Chica stopped in the middle of the street and looked over her surroundings. The street was bustling and the faces of the people coming and going were cheerful. There were no armed men to be seen anywhere. The atmosphere didn't feel very different from Sundays at all. Creamy 
Mia got closer to her as he returned the greetings of the townspeople. So what do you think? I expected it to be scarier, like a fight could break out any moment. It's much more relaxed and peaceful than I imagined. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> really? <laughs> they gave a bored smile and patted her on the head. I'm happy to hear you say that. It's not like we carry weapons because we like using them. Our main job is to protect our territory from outsiders, to meditate fights. It's unlikely that you'll get caught up in a fight within our territory, so don't worry yourself. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Regarding the Wolf King, your assertion that is that it is completely safe here is not entirely accurate. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Wolf King? Caesar and the others, the man who was chasing you, Sweet Marina. Oh, right. I completely forgot about Mr. Caesar. From what Kyrie tells me, they live in the forest outside the town walls. There are a troublesome bunch who invade other territories. All the families are plagued by them. We all have to be on the lookout for another attack. Okay. Grimia made a satisfied nod and held his hand out to Axel. Axel, do you have any change on you? Axel groped around in his pockets. After counting out the coins he found, he handed them to Grimia. Bradsy, Chica, let's get something to eat. Axel's training. <laughs> what? What? Is that okay? It's fine, it's fine, isn't it, Axel? The Don buys something for me, too. Alright, it's settled. Man, all I had this morning was an orange. I'm already starving. There's a great hot dog stand over there. Let's go, Michiko. Axel frowned as he watched over Karimia and Michiko from behind while they walked down the street lined with food stands. Isn't your empty stomach your own responsibility? Why do I have to pay for your food? Axel, we're going to leave you behind. Mmm, I'm coming. Aw, oh, poor Axel. <laughs> He's basically the wallet, the bartender, the not bartender, the butler. There's a little clothing boutique at the end of the street. Karimia pointed down an alley with a hand still greasy from his hot dog. Just around the corner is a general store and beyond that is a bookstore. You can buy almost anything with, within Oz territory, so don't think you'll be uncomfortable here. In the center of the town is Tower Plaza. You can see the tower from any part of town. It's a good landmark. Karimiya put one hand on the tower wall and looked up. Michigo followed suit and looked up too. The tower stretched so high into the sky that its top was hidden in the clouds. What What a big tower! Indeed, not even Mr. Noah Kairi knows what it is exactly. It's a mystery. A king lives in it. She turned to face Axel behind her, but he only stepped forward and placed his hand on the tower just as Karimiya had. I've heard that the king of this world lives in the top of the tower. What? You actually believe the legend, Axel? Is there something wrong with that? Nah, it's good to dream. What legend? Supposedly anyone who reaches the top floor and meets the king will have any wish granted. Wish? Yeah, but no one knows how to meet the king. There are no doors to the tower, only the names of the families that control the town and some rectangular slots. Plots. I was going to say shots. The slots Axel had mentioned were far beyond Michiko's reach. The names of the families were carved beneath the, in the niches. I don't know if the legend is true or not, but this tower does deserve a major landmark. Karimia pulled Michiko close to him. He leaned forward to match her eye level and pointed at the street they'd walk along to get there. If you ever get lost, as long as you can use the tower to find your way back to this plaza, you can get back to the mansion. You can see it from here. Just follow the red brick road to get back. Simple, right? It is. This plaza in the heart of town is a common space, not controlled by any one family. If you need to go into another territory, it's probably best to go through the, this area. There's nowhere to hide here, so it's symbolic for saying you have no ill intent. Have you ever been to the other family areas? Oh, of course. It depends on who we're talking about, but it's not like all our relationships are stormy ones. I visit other territories to go shopping or talking to people. Though, I guess it is pretty rare for me to leave Oz territory. Naturally, your movements draw suspicion. That's one of the downsides of being the Dawn. Heidi has a big dairy farm, and the cheese they make is just superb. I know I'll, I'll have Axel buy it next time. Why me? Sir, isn't that... Hmm? Isn't that who? What? Hello, Rad. The person Axel had spotted in the crowd was Scarlet. The c Oh, like Red Riding Hood. Oh! The cap of family grim. Scarlet's red mantle fluttered as Karimia spoke. Mr. Karimia, out on patrol? Well, that's part of it, but we're mostly showing the Signorina around our territory. You were... Hello, Scarlet. Oh! Scarlet glanced at Michiko before looking up at Karimia. K 
Karimia? Yeah. Have you already explained the rules to her? I'm in the process of doing that right now. Oh, well that's good. Scarlet looked at Michiko again. You will not be harmed as long as you don't break the rules. But if you do break them, there will be no mercy. Don't you forget it. Uh, of course. That's so scary. Scarlet gave them a small nod before turning around to leave. The rifle in Scarlet's back swayed a bit with each step. Scarlet's pretty scary. Yeah, right. That's nothing. Scarlet is probably the most level-headed of the members of Family Graham. The twins are much crueler. Yeah, Hansel and Gretel can be pretty reckless. Mind that you don't end up in a fight with those two. I- I will. Suddenly, Michigo realized Axel had been staring at her. What's wrong, Mr. Axel? You should be safe as long as you stay inside Oz territory. Huh? I'm trying to say that you should be safe, so there's no need to be scared. Oh, okay. Are you trying to tell her that you'll protect her? Trying to sound cool, huh? I, I'm not. I just mean that the family is always guarding our own territory, so... Aren't you part of the family too, Axel? Mmm... We've finished the tour of our territory already. I will return to my usual... duties. Mr. Axel? He just ran off because he was embarrassed. Well, shall we walk around a little more? There's this great ice cream place nearby. I'll take you there. Okay. Oh, now we have the pick who we're gonna go with? But I'm gonna end the episode <laughs> right here because my throat is killing me. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, Axel, obviously. But let's just save it right here. I'm gonna go with Axel, obviously. Um, I, I, I got this guy, uh, show. And now we're missing one. I'm guessing. I, can two people fit here? I don't know. I think two people can fit here. One, two, three, four. I, I, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 12 people in total, I'm assuming. So we're just missing like four people down here. But that's gonna be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed and will like this series. It's interesting so far because it's like fairy tale and mafia and then like survivalism. It's just a bunch of stuff mixed up together. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll catch you guys in the next one.